I uh, just want to show you what I'm seeing today. Here's one of my bee yards. Very windy today. Bees can't get too far away. As you can see, there isn't anything pulling coming into these hives at all. We're end of April and we have yet to see pollen. This is very late for the bees. Just to show you, I have a, I'm out of Ultra Bee. I've been out for a little while, so I've been putting out this these bags of soy flour. And look at they're still after these. Very aggressive into the soy flour. So this tells me there's, you know, as you can see in the front entrance, there is no pollen coming into these colonies. So what I've got inside these hives is well they have their own little bit of resource. They'll be gobbling them up. I'm not seeing a whole lot of pollen inside these hives. They've used all that up and they're onto the supplement. And I just want to show you what uh, I'm seeing inside for a brood nest. So it's pretty windy out today. The bees are staying pretty close. So I just want to take a look down inside to see what's going on in the nest. Um, there is absolutely no pollen flowing right now. So what they're building their nest on right now is um, reserves. Uh, there's Nutribee. As you can see there's two pounds here that's just about gone. And the Ultra Bee and soy flour that they've been foraging on. Just take a peek down here to see what's in the nest. She's got this frame filled right up with larvae. Larvae are swimming in jelly. If you can see that. This is one solid frame of brood. As on this side. frame of brood. I'm seeing any pollen in this hive. Look at this side. She's gone to town here. I haven't seen any pollen, which is a concern to me. These colonies need pollen to be able to produce a nest like this. So basically, let's see what we've got here. You don't typically see solid brood nests like that without pollen flow or pollen in reserve. Right full of eggs, still no pollen. Oh, there's someone on the outside here, just a little bit around the edges. There she is laying up a storm. The queen is this here. So 2016, this is one of Carrie's. So just put them back together. So basically what I'm seeing is a terrific nest being built right now with very little pollen stores. Pretty much doing all their work on these patties and the dry supplement coming in. So this year I truly am resting on good queens 
and supplement the spring. Sending that resource down to that queen. But anyways, that's what I'm seeing within my nests right now. Um, we're going to be make this week, we're going to be going through our colonies, pretty much all of them, just to do a quick spot check on the queen condition. Uh, we're going to take our weaker hives, we're going to put them on top of these uh, strong colonies and try to boost those weaker ones up and salvage those queens because we want to use those queens on queen replacements throughout the spring as we find uh, poor queens because we're going to find them. <laughs> we want to keep those colonies going and if these bigger colonies can spare some bees we're going to take the split out of them by doing that and, and we're going to support a uh, you know a, I wouldn't necessarily call them a, a weaker queen just because they didn't winter as well this year they had a lot of things going against them and so we're going to be salvaging some of these younger queens which uh, seem to be you know we're going to assess them to make sure they're doing well uh, pinch off anything as old and and you fail like no use fussing over those but uh, we're gonna try to salvage those weaker colonies and we're gonna do that this week. I'll show you how we do it. We we're gonna do it today, but it's too damn windy. So yeah, so this is kind of what I'm seeing on my spot checks. Uh, terrific nests on most of these colonies we have out here. Uh, a lot of activity and just waiting on the pollen.